This is Mamutasan Meras. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to solve a ANSYS problem. So, today we are going to solve a ANSYS bar and truss problem. And this is our problem. In this problem, we can see a truss figure and we have some load in, in this three point, which are 30 kilo Newton. And the dimension is 1 meter uh, every element. If we read the problem description, it will be like truss bridges can span long distance and support heavy weight without intermediate support they are economical to construct and are available in a wide variety of style consider the following planar truss constructed of wooden timber which can be used in parallel to form bridge determine the deflection at each joint of the truss under the given loading condition so we have a truss and this truss is made of wood and the wood metal is Douglas sphere and it has a young modulus of 13.1 gigapascal and a Poisson ratio of 0 0.29 and the cross section of the truss member is height is 6 cm and wide is 6 cm. So in our analysis we will draw a truss figure uh, which has a, a, which every element has 1 meter of distance you can see here and at this three point we have 30 kilonewton load so let's start as we are doing the bar and truss analysis so select the static structural form here and press it and drag it to project symmetric and after that go to engineering data double click on it and here we can see the mini description of the material. In our question, we have a material of Douglas field of young modulus of 13.1 and 13.1 gigapascal and Poisson ratio of 0 0.29. So select here, click here to add new material and name this material to Douglas field. Okay. After that, from linear elastic double click on isotopic elasticity now in the place of young modulus the put a value of 13.1 gigapascal then from portion ratio place 0 0.29 now our engine data has been set so close this Now it's time to draw the geometry. So select the geometry option and go to property. And in the property tab, uh, make sure to check the line body because we are doing the truss problem. So we need line body. So make sure to check this. After that, again click on the geometry. Now right click it. Now open the space clip geometry software. In the space claim geometry software, first we need to define the units. In our case, we can see all the units are in meter. So let's define the units. Now go to file. Now space, space claim option. From that, we'll select the units and now length in meters. And here at the bottom, we have minor gate spacing. And select the minor gate spacing to one unit, unit because all the truss elements are one unit. So after that, press OK. Then we'll try to draw the truss in X Y plane. So right click it and now select select new sketch plane. After that, drag you hover your mouse into X Y plane. Now click it. Then for normal view, select the plane view. Now select line option to draw lines. So I will zoom it. Now zooming it. Now draw a one meter line as the truss is built. So I am drawing the truss. Again, you can keep dimension as you want, but make sure it follows the geometry.
So here you can see we have first drawn this vertical three line and this base option. Then I will draw this other two line and connect this to incline line. So I am select drawing. Now join these two line. Again in the other side same. Okay. Place this point here and join this line and join other line also. Here we can see we have drawn our truss shape. It is like similar to this one. Okay. Now select this. Now go to select the home option. Now you will get a isometric view. In here, as it is it is a truss, we need to select the beam profile. We have a beam profile of rectangular shape, and this beam profile member rectangular shape has six centimeter height and six centimeter wide. So for doing this, go to prepare option. Now select the profiles. Now select new profile library. Select rectangle option, and from the rectangle option, you can see here a beam profile option has been created in the structure menu. And here from the rectangle double click it and uh, right click it and go to edit beam profile and from the edit beam profile if you click on B you can change the dimension of this one and uh, 6 centimeter means 0 0.06 meter and again you could change the dimension of height also so click the height option and change the dimension to 0 0.06 meter which is 6 centimeter as you can see this sketch is quite long big so you can press the shift option and your mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out the sketch and you can use the control tool and the mouse wheel option to drag your object okay we have drawn our beam profile so now go to design tab again and now go to structure now we have to place this beam profile to the our this line for for doing this we need to first of all we need to select all the line you can manu manually select control select all the line but it will take much more time so i am dragging all the line to select and i have selected all the line and now click the create option it will now create automatically a beam profile for all the lines now our beam are in has been created so we need to now move all the beam into a new folder so i am select again i am selecting the select tool select tool now selecting all the beams now right click on it and now move to new component okay after moving to new component you can now we can now need to change the topology in the topology option we will select the merge topology okay select the merge topology okay our beam has been created and it's, it's time to next step so close so close the sp space claim option now it's time for doing meshing and uh, fix the structure and give all the load for doing this we will uh, go to the model option double click on the model option it will open another software give a time okay in here our ANSYS mechanical software has been opened now we first need to set the material for doing this select our beam and here we can see the material in the assignment we have structure still but in our question we it was a wooden douglas wheel so click this arrow and it's with your material douglas field after that now it's time for doing mesh so select the mesh option and for element size and uh, define it to 10 meter 
for we are defining it to 10 meter because we want all the trace of the element to be one mesh element for each so let me demonstrate so first of all generate the mesh here and after the generating the mesh you can see in the statics we have 13 element because we have 13 beam bar so that's why we have chosen this big element size now it's time for fix the geometry so select the static structure right click on it now it's insert and now select the fixed support in our picture we can see this two point has a fixed feature so uh, i will select this two point and fix this two point so for selecting this two point first of from geometry select this option now select the bar vertex option and from that vertex option select this point and now control select another point press control on your keyboard and select another point now select apply now this two point has been fixed now it's time it's time to apply the force for applying the force you can see here we have three point for applying force and each point has a force of 30 kilo newton so in our geometry we can select this point then apply 30 newton and again select this point and apply 30 kilo newton and and also select this point and apply 30 kilo newton and we can also do in to the alternatives like we can select all three point and apply 19 kilo newton so i'm selecting st static structure now select insert now select force after that define by select component because we want as the all the force are going downward it will be minus y axis so i have selected the defined by component option and from the geometry option you can select the single one and single one and single one and apply each one separately but i will do at a once so i'm selecting this point and control click another point and control click another point now apply and each force this point has 30 kN newton so total will be 90 kN newton and i am adding a minus because it is reverse direction so i am adding 90 kilo newton it means 9000 okay so the total load is 90000 so in our problem uh, we need to determine the deflection at each joint of the truss under the given loading so we need to go to solution now insert and insert deformation and select the to total deformation now it's time to run our test so select this solution option now right click on it now click the solve option okay the problem has been solved if you click on the total deformation option now we can see our truss deformation and if you want to see the each point in your truss so you can use the probe option like here you can place the probe all the probe where, where you can you want to see the deformation okay now in now we can see we have forces like here but this time i will use the force as the picture defined so i will use the forces differently separately so i am deleting this force option now again inserting a force now from from geometry selecting these vertices and defined by component select these vertices okay and for the first vertices it will be 30 kilo newton okay this time i am showing separately so you can just understand so again select the component option now geometry select this one now apply and from amount 30 minus 30 kilo newton okay now it's time for third force 
so you can go to force option now select this point now apply and use the component option now use 30 kilo newton so go to solution and again solve okay you can see it has given solution this one you can again place the probe to see the value okay that's all for today thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different